how to create a random colourful grid in Photoshop. I'm using 220, but the same can be done 219, etc. Documents are 1000 by 1000, resolution 72. But you could use 1000 by 1000, 300. Or 2000 by 2000, up to you. Create a selection using the rectangular marquee tool found in the tools panel. I'm going to fill it with grey. So edit and fill. So set it to 50% grey and then set the mode to normal and opacity 100. Now once you've done that, you need to define it as a pattern. So edit and define pattern. Could give it a better name than pattern 5, but I'm just going to keep it as that. Click OK. Now, complete your fresh document. Just go back to a fresh document. Because now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill that document. But I'm not going to use the edit fill command straight away because I want a layer, a layer menu. So go to layer menu and new layer. The layer can be converted to a smart object later. Now with your layer, what you can do is go to edit and fill. And instead of 50% grey, obviously you want that, you want pattern this time. Make certain the script is on, deselect it and select it again. I think that's always the best way. Sometimes it just ignores that otherwise. Set it to brick fill for the script and set the pattern to the one you just created. Normal again and 100%. Brick fill, and that's it. Click OK. Now the preview does not match the end result. Preview makes it look much larger than it really is. Sadly, there's no zoom feature. What you can do, pattern and scale, set to 1, spacing 0, offset 0, randomness 1, brightness randomness 1, and rotate angle 0. Click OK, and now you can see the end result. Lots and lots of random colourful squares. Now it's a standard layer. What you can do, you could just use it, manipulate it, you can resize it, do many things, but you can also go and convert it into a smart object before you do anything. It does help to actually press return at this point, because it will not, the menus, or cancel it. Go to layer menu and go down to smart objects and convert to smart object. That's a smart object. Now you can resize it, do anything with it now, other than paint and draw and things on it. But you can do that by double clicking into the smart object. You can resize it, rotate it. Once you're happy with that design, press return. Also, what you can do, you can use the edit and warp. A perspective warp or free transform or transform and down the bottom warp. And you can warp it in all kinds of ways. You can use the split warp. Now these features are not in earlier versions. And you can add a couple of split warps there. And what you can then do is manipulate that. Just drag that there. Also go to the other line. And you can just drag that around to, to sort of make the space look warped. So you've got a lovely colourful warped grid. Now obviously at this point all the squares are not all equal. Press return. So you've got your nicely warped, colourful grid. What you can also do, got the move tool there, you can hold down the Alt or Option key and do drag and duplicate it. Of course, you could also do the same in the layer menu with duplicate command. What you can also do, you can go to layer menu, layer style, maybe add a shadow or maybe a bevel. A whole variety of different sessions there which you can set. I'm just going to 
change the distance, etc., just to make it slightly darker. Click OK so you can actually see the shadow there. And you can continue to move it around. You can also use the 3D menu. You can use filters. So maybe you would like to apply a blur to it. I'm just going to go to the bottom one. I'm not going to apply it to the top one. So select the bottom layer. And go to filter. And then maybe Gaussian blur or box blur. And blur the design. Click OK. And also you can go back to the other one. Apply effects to that if you wish as well. You can also go to image menu and adjustments to recolor it. Maybe use vibrance, hue saturation, color lookup. Then you can change the hue, you can move that backwards and forwards, increase the saturation, change the lightness, make it darker, make it lighter. You can also colorize it. You can make a green or blue or purple. Whole loads of different designs can be created that way. Click OK. Now these can be changed at any point. Just go into the layer, layer panel. And of course, you don't have to create just one or two layers. You could create maybe three or four, maybe apply the fill multiple times, create multiple layers with different colored grids. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always end new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.